This is a short story called The Art of William. There was a quaint village called Greenwood, and there lived an artist named William, whose hands were as seasoned as the canvases he painted. His life was a tapestry of vibrant hues and bold strokes, a testament to the years he dedicated to his craft. As he approached the winter of his years, William's thoughts often meandered through the memories of his kin, who had departed in their mid-seventies during the autumn of their lives. William's art was not just a display of colors and forms but a rebellion etched in every brushstroke. His Destruct Art series was a silent protest, a visual manifesto against the political tides that swept through his time. The Chiffonade series within it was like shredded dreams, each piece a delicate defiance. His tapestries told tales of resilience, woven with threads of dissent, while his Destruct paintings were the chaos of a mind unchained. The Curtain Rod paintings were his latest endeavor, a series where art and utility danced in a harmonious ballet. The scroll paintings unfurled like ancient scripts, telling stories only the heart could decipher. William often said he painted with the urgency of a man who knew his days were numbered. I've got maybe ten years left, he'd muse, and every day beyond that will be a gift. His studio was an altar of creation, where he'd stand, a stick in hand, dripping with the elixir of imagination, ready to transform yet another blank canvas into a world of its own. If I were to leave this earth, William confided with a twinkle in his eye, let it be with a stick or other object in hand, dripping with paint making it my final masterpiece in life. And so, William painted, each day a stroke closer to eternity, leaving behind a legacy etched in color, a smile forever captured in the art that was his life's final act. As I turned to walk away after saying goodbye, William stood there with a stick dripping with paint and a smile on his face saying, Take it easy, I'll catch you later. That was the last time I seen William but he lives on through his works of art. This short story was inspired by an artist in his later years of life. He spent many years trying to break that hidden barrier. That seems to be in the way of many artists young and old alike. He is inspired at times by the words of the art critic Jerry Saltz. I want all artists to make money, the good, the bad and the very bad. That means all of us. Now get to work you big baby. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my short story. If you are an artist I hope in some way it inspires you to keep on creating. Because no matter how bad it seems, you can always use that in your art. Thank you again, now in the words of Jerry Saltz, get to work you big baby.